Hi everyone, I'm Dan Fullerton, and in this lesson, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take a bunch of exercises done at a CrossFit gym at CrossFit Recourse in Webster, New York, and we're going to analyze the physics of them from the perspective of work, energy, and power. Now to help you out, I would highly recommend downloading and printing out the problem set that you can find at the link below, aplusphysics.com slash l slash CrossFit. Having that in hand will help. And as we go through each exercise, once you've seen the exercise and the problems, pause the video, take a minute, see if you can do the problems, and then move on to the next exercise. The solutions to all of these will be given in a subsequent video. Thanks, good luck. Hi everyone, I'm Dan Fullerton with A Plus Physics, and I'm here at CrossFit Recourse Gym in Webster, New York to go explore the physics of CrossFit. Let's go inside and see what's happening. Tom performs 10 thrusters using a barbell of mass 45 kilograms, about 95 pounds, in a time of 20 seconds. A. Draw a free body diagram for the barbell. B. How much force is applied to raise the barbell. C. The bar is lifted from 0.7 meter above the ground to 2.2 meters above the ground in 2 seconds. How much work is done? D. What power is developed in lifting the bar? And E. What is the net work performed on the bar by all forces during the entire 20 seconds? Pause the video, take a minute, and solve the problems on the associated problem set worksheet. Chris performs 20 toes-to-bar exercises in 28 seconds. A. What is the period of each toes-to-bar exercise? And B. With what frequency does Chris execute his exercises? Heidi climbs 5 meters up a rope 3 times in 40 seconds. She has a mass of 50 kilograms. A. What minimum force must Heidi apply to the rope in order to move upward? B. What minimum amount of work must she do to climb the rope? C. What minimum amount of energy must Heidi expend to climb the rope? D. What is Heidi's gravitational potential energy with respect to the ground when she's at the top of the rope? E. If Heidi were to release the rope while at her highest point, with what velocity would she strike the ground, neglect air resistance? And finally, F. Calculate Heidi's maximum kinetic energy if she were to release the rope while at her highest point. James performs 21 butterfly chest-to-bar pull-ups in 24 seconds. A. With what frequency does James execute his pull-ups? And B. What is the period of each pull-up? Aaron, weighing 500 newtons, jumps from the ground onto a 0.6 meter wood box 20 times in 52 seconds. A. How much work does Aaron do in jumping from the ground onto the box? B. What minimum amount of energy must Aaron expend in order to jump to the top of the box? C. What minimum velocity must Aaron leave the ground with in order to reach the top of the box, neglect bending of legs? D. What is the minimum amount of energy Aaron must expend to complete her 20 jumps? E. What average power does Aaron expend during her 20 jumps? And finally, F. What is the net work done on Aaron at the end of the exercise by all forces? Special thanks to Chris O'Donnell, CrossFit Recourse, and all the athletes who were kind enough to assist in the creation of this video. Thanks, everybody. Make it a great day.